is your profession. We all know that in Rise of Kingdoms, legendary accessories works amazing, but so does your regular legendary equipment. So the question is, when should you actually craft your accessories? At what point of your equipment progression, you should stop crafting your regular equipment and craft accessories. Today we are going to answer that and I will give you guys an equipment set for each troop type infantry, cavalry and archers and those sets will be your goal before you craft legendary accessories. And after that we will briefly discuss which accessories are the best for you and then we will craft a ring of doom. By the way there is a small problem with my camera so that's why we have a Nevsky on the left instead of me. Sorry about that and I'm going to fix it until the next video. As I mentioned at the start of the video, in my opinion, we should have a certain level of an equipment before you start crafting accessories. Now we will take a look at those equipment sets for archers, infantry and cavalry. This set on your screen right now is, in my opinion, what you should have before you craft your accessories. We have four epics and two legendaries. And as you can see on the right, we have 13.5% attack, 27.5% defense which is great and 18.5% health and please notice that every single epic equipment is special talented because in season of conquest if you are using epic or blue equipment those pieces have to be special talented and in this configuration we have two pieces from revival set and two pieces from legendary archer set and thanks to those set pieces we have troop attack 3% and another troop attack 3% from each set that is extra 6% troop attack. So once you craft this gear for your archer march, you can safely start crafting accessories. Now let's move on to infantry. For infantry marches, I think this is bare minimum. We have blue shield, I think it's amazing. Karak's humility, sets brutality and frost threats. Plus we have a hope cloak which is legendary and the infantry helm from legendary sets. We have no attack, 38% defense and 21% health. Again, I think it is an amazing set. But for your infantry marches, I also have one more option, which is crafting either the boots or the gloves from the infantry set. Because if you take a look at the set on the left, we already have one piece from infantry legendary set. So if you have the blueprint, you can either craft legendary boots or the gloves to reach two pieces infantry set to get that extra 3% troop defense. This is also a very viable option. And by the way, the reason why I have two sets, one we have legendary boots and on the second one we have legendary glows. But if you take a look at the stats, it is exactly the same. Both gives 41% defense and 21% health. Because both infantry epic glows and epic boots and legendary glows and legendary boots gives exactly the same stats. That's why it doesn't matter which epic item you swap out and which legendary item you put in. It all depends which blueprint you have. If you have the blueprints of the boots, then craft the boots. If you have the blueprints of the glows, then craft the glows. And once you reach one of these sets, you can safely craft your accessories. Now let's move on to cavalry. Our cavalry set is very similar to our archer set. Again, we have four epic pieces and two legendary pieces. The only difference is that this time we have helm and the boots instead of glows and chest. We have epic weapon, epic chest, epic legs, and epic glows. We have 4% attack, 39% defense, and 25% health. And thanks to these two pieces from the set, we have extra 3% troop health, which is amazing. This is bare minimum. This is, in my opinion, what you need to have before you start crafting accessories for your cavalry marches. Now, if you take a look at the accessories from the KVK shop, which ones are better? I would say Ring of Doom and Horn of Fury is just great for at least 90% of the commanders. Both of these accessories works great on pretty much on any commander, Ring of Doom increases your damage, Horn of Fury increases your rage gain, you cannot go wrong with both options, but if you have a specific march, for example, let's say an Attila Takeda or a Pakal Herald, and then you may consider Vengeance, I actually have a Vengeance on my Attila Takeda, so it is also a great accessory, but please note that you should never ever purchase a Concealed Dagger from the KVK shop, because you can get blueprints for Concealed Dagger from the Egg event, uh, I think it is called Holy Nice Treasure, so why should you waste your season coins on an item, on an accessory that is obtainable from a regular event? There is no point. So you should never purchase Concealed Dagger from the KVK shop in Season of Conquest. I also don't like Skola's coin. So in short, Ring of Doom and Horn of Fury is great for many, many marches in Rise of Kingdoms. Now we are going to craft our fourth legendary accessory in Rise of Kingdoms, which is going to be another Ring of Doom. I have a Ring of Doom, a Horn of Fury and a Vengeance. 
Now we are going to craft another Ring of Doom. And hopefully, hopefully this time, we will get a special talent. Let me sort out my materials real quick and we will be back until I have 40 for each. All right, everything is ready. Time to craft a Ring of Doom. Come on, come on, please, 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 Lilith. Like, I, I made... 200 almost 200 rise of kingdoms videos i deserved it give me, give me a special talent on this ring of doom please i beg you like if i get a special talent on this i swear to god i will invest like 50 legendary sculptures on either moctezuma or charlemagne please Lilith, give me that special talent come on believe it or not i will actually won't look at it okay i think i'm just gonna click on it okay we are on the on the yes No! Come on! Like, this is the fourth accessory! Why? <laughs> That's so bad! I'm, I'm so mad! Oh my god! Come on! Anyone? Anyone wants to kill me? Anyone wants to kill me? Please, guys, come on, kill me! Oh my god! Well, that was it. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I see you on the next one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thank you guys so much for watching. I see you on the next one. Bye.